Hey guys. Hey guys. We're the Dorkeries. We're the Dorkeries. Good morning. Good morning. It is Wednesday. Um, it's a beautiful day. Look at all that sunshine coming in off the water. I know I'm trying to be rude. I interrupted Drew's you, breakfast. You, well, it's cereal. You can't, like, <laughs> cereal waits. You get soggy. Yeah. Nobody wants soggy cereal. So many fun things planned today. Yesterday we got a ton of work done in the store mm -hmm. and we'll show you that. And we're headed to Epcot later this afternoon after uh, we have a repairman coming, so. Oh yeah, the yeah. window needs a repair. We have a leaky window. They're coming to take out and reinstall. You don't need to see any of that, but as soon as they're done with that, we're going to Epcot. Yes, I'd like to stay tonight. No festival. No, but I would like to stay tonight and watch the closing show. Yeah? Yeah. Not Illuminations? Not Illuminations. It is the story of us. What do they call it? Epcot Forever. Epcot Forever. But there's like a tagline to it. They do. They mm. say it's the story of us. I'd like to watch the whole thing. I've watched, remember we watched some of it from the flower gardens, like back in the back by the exit. We watched some of it the other night from the Skyliner. We've seen some of it from the rooftop of the Riviera. Mm. Tonight, can we stand in front of the water? We will do our And watch the best. whole show? That's not a promise. No tapping out. I want to guarantee we're going to do it. Okay, I can't wait. <laughs> okay, I am going to do a quick update before we hopefully wrap up work for the day and head to Epcot. It's really hard for me to leave. I have been doing this for two days straight and I'm seeing the light at the end of the tunnel and it's hard for me to leave, but I do wanna to go to Epcot. And also we have midweek meetup with our church community tonight. So I've gotta wrap up, I've gotta move on. Here's what it looks like. I have now completed all of the cabinets that I had to put together, they are all together. I still could fit one more right there, but all of those things are already full of things that need to be listed on eBay. So I'm going to leave them there. And maybe after I've rested and gotten rid of all of the boxes <laughs> that those came in, I might put another one right here. But the plan is, these are all full of different things. One of them is Christmas decorations. Um, some of them are Comic-Con collectibles. Then the rest of them over here will be things that need to be listed. And then those cabinets are things that have already been listed. But the plan is to have a nice sofa out here with a couple more work tables um, for whether the kids want to use them when they're working or whether we want to sit down and rest while we're working. And then we've got these two tables over here. My next thing is to get all of this cleaned up, but my big thing for the day is I got the TV mounted. It's been sitting on the floor. I got that mounted and that area cleaned up. So I'm actually really proud of this. This, everything right here in this pile is Lego. This is all Lego, except this is a bubble wrap. This is all Lego. And then these are all my kids' childhood toys and clearly our suitcases. That's all Lego. So it's all Lego that is for Bricklink Store. So I can see the light. I can see the light and I'm happy about it. But now it's time for Epcot. We've made it and I'm gonna be honest. It's I'm, weird not seeing any festival. No, I missed the garage, but <laughs> I'm so glad to be here. Oh, you missed the garage. I like missed you, the garage. You're going to be working right now? Yeah, and I'm so glad to be here. First stop. Starbucks. Starbucks for my peach tea. Uh, <laughs> she did not like that. She was. <laughs> She's like, ah, No, she is like, I am tea. done with peach tea. Ah. No more <laughs> peach tea. Wow, I don't know who she was disgusted with but we, it, we are back to the garage though we are like in a very good like rhythm yeah it's been amazing it's been really fun past two days drew's been filling orders i've been getting things organized putting things together hanging the tv 
it's just been a really good flow. Three straight days. This is pretty cool. I just thought about this. You have three straight days of at least one $100 order. Yeah, that's awesome. In Berkeley, that is very good. And right now, we're like putting all that money, like it's we're sitting outside getting prepped for Comic Con. Yeah. Um, so we're on like our Comic Con build up. We should do uh, like we've seen other people do and put like a little counter on the wall yeah, 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 yeah. of like we're this close to our <laughs> Comic Con goal. Um, it'd just be fun. Also, I won't have to keep asking you. <laughs> I also gotta make some spreadsheets too, so that I, like each kid knows what they have. Oh yeah. Or we can just put them all in the same coffer. <laughs> no, because I like for the kids to know how much they've sold. Because what what our tradition is for Comic Con time is we do buy so much merch at Comic Con. So right before the kids will pick out things they don't really want anymore, and it'll all go on eBay and they'll use that money to buy new things. Yeah. So I like for them to know how much they have. So they will split it up and it'll go in their personal accounts. Should we go in right here? Yeah, or absolutely. Okay. Okay. It definitely, it definitely is hot. Yeah, it's gonna reach but I'm, let's go this way. There's strollers over there. I am loving this rhythm that we're in though, that is work during the hottest part of the day and then venture outside as the sun is going down. Hot. Yeah, but it's only a couple hours of it versus like the other day, our daughter said, I want to do a Magic Kingdom day and go to a movie in the same day. And we were like, that sounds great. Let's go to the movie during the day. Yeah. And then go to Magic Kingdom afterwards. Right. It makes more sense because around 5, 6, 7 o'clock, ooh, it feels amazing outside. Epcot Discovery Series. I think these are really cute. I love the orange bird. I'm pretty sure I've probably showed you these before. It's got all the barks on it. Hi, skis. Oh, oh, I'm sorry, buddy. This actually is a little plastic straw. So cute. And then I see this one everywhere. I might have this one. I caught up with you. Just looking at the cups. Mm. So that's cute. The one with the straw is cute because it's like a, the umbrella is like plastic. Oh, that's good. Yeah. Like a soft plastic, not a hard plastic. What are they making? Are those donuts? That just looks like me. It's not. Whatever it is on the end, it's getting burned. I think it's... Oh, there you go. If you just read, it's... Tree cake. Oh, that's what there was at Starbucks that I told you looked so good. And you said, what is that? And it is... Bam Kuchin. Bam Kuchin. It looks You know who really would love good. this? The white shirt. I actually thought about getting it. It looked... Yum. Oh, here you go. Also... Well, they're making two things. In Japan, the rings of tree cake have been linked to prosperity and happiness. Okay. And this is what it looks like. And then they cut it in slices and cut it in half. So when you get a piece, it's kind of shaped like a rainbow, like a semicircle. And you can see the rings inside. I'll have to try it. Did you see if there was anything like the garden? Thank 
Hey, we got this. That's cute for a kid. Cute what, little souvenir. What's your best vacation what's, ever? What's in his hands? Show me his hands. It's a ticket. Stop. To the best vacation What's in the other, other hand? Autographs. Stop. Oh my gosh. It's so cute. What's your best vacation ever? Cup. Best vacay ever? Hmm. Is that a hard one? Mm -hmm. You can be without me. Nope. No, it's that's Italy. not a thing. Honestly, cruise ships. cruise ships are fun, but I still, I've said this so many times, but one of my best memories, family wise, is last spring break when we came here and we had dinner in bed with the kids every night. We got pizza at, where did we say? We, we stayed, stayed at, at Port Orleans. Yeah. We got pizza. Prince Quarter. Every night and beignets and we would sit in our room and sit in bed and we watched a different Hunger, Hunger Games, Games every single night. I don't know if we this said this new. before, but this is a very important. I don't know if we said this before. I want to say this. Keep going. But uh, French Quarter is one of those resorts where you can hook up your Roku or your Amazon Fire Stick to. So there's a way to like hack into that and... And yeah. bypass there. So we took our Roku, Roku stick, and I don't know, it's just nice because both of our kids were teenagers. So we had a movie night every night of the week with dinner in our beds. Yeah. And I just, I don't know, I really, truly enjoyed that. I wish they had a little smaller version of this. It's got Groot and Star Lord on it. Mmm. Fig Net Crush. I just Ratatouille, care, I just, that's all I care about. Nemo. It's got the mixtape. Oh, that's pretty dope. I just wish there was like a waste bag. I like the Epcot tag too. That's cool. Alright, let's see what else there is. Would you spend $125 on an Epcot bowl? Same print, but they're not Genie and Bird. But so, where's Star Lord? I don't see Star Lord. That's weird. It's, oh, right oh there, there he is. That's neat. And you got it in t shirt form, but he's not on Three. the front of the t shirt form. Three. Oh, in the ears? That's cute. Would you wear those ears? I would wear those ears. We could include Marvel. What about a Christmas stuff? ornament of Walt Meh. chilling? Meh. What about the Epcot hat? You like the Epcot hat? No. I like the, uh, it was over there, I like the Mickey Mouse uh, Nike hats. I just like having uh, Marvel on our park. So. Yeah, because again, I think we've said this before, Marvel used to have a huge section right over there. No more. It's dwindling down. I think there's like a couple of clusters over there, but it's I like see a whole cluster and something Spider Man, and that's like. Hey, look it. at these cups. Porksicle? $55. Wow. Because you're paying for. Yeah, but this is a pretty right substantial there. look like. Oh, is it? That's the kind of cup you like, but. Like, you know, again, we're not cup. We're coffee mug people. We're not cup people. Also, pass order merch. This is cool. Let's look at this. <laughs> is this? I was thinking if this was pass holder merch, but it's not. Oh, there you go. I called it Epcot Forever. I think Epcot Forever was the old one. Luminous. It's called Luminous. The, the symphony, symphony of us. But I would say in the story of us, and it's the symphony of us. We were way off. We're not always great at names, especially, have you noticed, like, restaurants? We very rarely know the exact name of a restaurant that we're, we're in. We're like, it's that pizza place back in Italy. <laughs> we need to get better at names, but this is not... I, for whatever reason, saw this and thought it was Passholder merch. 
and it's not. I don't know why I did that, but again, I need to fix my verbiage. I like that first though. Okay, so this is something that's always very hard for me when I'm holding the camera myself. But these bags usually have a cute print inside. That's like a little added bonus. I am not, and I repeat, I am not a bag collector. So I can appreciate that this is a cute print. I'm okay with it. It's not offensive in any way. We were actually talking about this on the way in. I don't think we recorded it, but... We were looking at some people's smaller bags and going, those aren't too bad. Like something you could just put like a charger in, but they've, it's gotta be like a satchel almost, I but a small a satchel. I'm only willing to carry a bag that is no bigger than my thumb. Okay. I don't, anything else, it's just gonna be extra weight. It's gonna get, I'm gonna yeah, get Yeah, definitely tired. no backpacks. Yeah, and I was making sure you hadn't been just filming my back set the whole time. <laughs> well, what I think is back fat, you would be like, that's wonderful. Let me look that. I'm not gonna, I'm gonna edit it out. I'm gonna edit it out. <laughs> Or not. <laughs> Maybe just leave it. Do you agree with me? So I was saying this earlier. See if you agree with me. <laughs> Wait, you can't start a conversation with. <laughs> I know. Do you agree, you agree with, with me? me? <laughs> yes or no, right now, before I tell the story. I said, I feel like that Disney Parks has forgotten about Coco and moved on to Encanto, even though I think there's room for both. Like, Encanto is, like, going to be everywhere at the parks, and it's just, like... Because we were asked, do you think that the uh, Three Caballeros ride is going to turn into Coco? And I feel like at one time it was, but I feel like they're like, no. Because, like, I feel like they're, like, all in with Encanto. And I like Encanto. I love Coco, too, but... What are your thoughts? Am I am I off base? Does it seem like that they've come One, I do think it would make perfect sense for Three Caballeros to be... Coco. Yeah. However, take a step back okay. and look at this display. Okay. And tell me why this is in Kanto. No, I was just not, not the whole display. I know, but I'm telling you that's a that's a big deal. Oh, okay. Yeah, yeah, absolutely. That's a big deal because she fits in with all of the princess dolls. It's true. You can't really you can't really I mean, it fits in with what they're doing where you might have people wanting to collect the princesses just but I, well, I think too it's like it's probably a lot easier especially like they're putting her in animal kingdom so you can have all the tropical stuff in animal kingdom and it really blends in well where are you going to put day of the dead stuff like that's that's a little bit more challenging of an environment to put in yeah but it, it does make perfect sense at the mexico pavilion though it does. But they've yeah. already really yeah. done the, the display like if you inside. Could make the three Cabuleros go through the the Day of the Dead. Oh my god, that'd be amazing. Amazing. No offense, Donald. Oh yeehoo. <laughs> this is a light up projection game. Turn it around. I'm interested. So it's from the ride. It is. So you can shoot. You, you got. You got right the gun. <gasps> oh no! This is so fun. You get to take your light just like Buzz but Lightyear. Why isn't there a target on the bottom? Because that's where the big target is for that room. It's it on is. The that's the one you're supposed to be hitting. Why isn't it down there? Because that's where the battery pack is, and this is where all the sensors are. Mm. That's so fun. Whoever came up with this idea, kudos. I love that. So if you're the cool dad, what you do is you hold this in your hand and you run around the room and you let your kid try to aim at them. Cool dad. <laughs> Be the cool dad.
We are going to make a visit to the journey of water. I really like these views. You're noticing a little bit more with all the topiaries gone from the festival. This view of uh, Spaceship Earth and then the entrance to journey of water. I'm excited about this. You can get wet, but you don't have to. This is an experience for everyone. Learn about the water cycle. Oh, that's already feels good. I'm really glad I have a hat on. <laughs> So it's amazing. You guys go ahead. Oh, is that, hey, I didn't know that was you. I was like, why is this random man trying to be in my shot? <laughs> I should focus my eyes. Oh, that feels amazing. Yeah, I'm going, I'm going. Bene oh, I'm sorry, baby. I'm sorry. Benefits of uh, wearing a hat on Epcot Day. So you can play in all the water. I didn't bring any other clothes. You guys go play. You guys play a Play us a song. It's, it's hitting different keys, isn't it? Isn't it doing... I think All right. I think we should play a game of is that a real plant or a fake plant? Some of them are real and some of them are fake. This one is real. Oh, these are actually really pretty. Hold on. Taking another look. It's like so many different colors involved in that. Ooh, these are real. That's pretty. Get it, Drew. Nothing's happening. You gotta, you gotta be one with the water. Be one. Can you do it? Can you make it go like jump instead of just going up and down? Like to the side, like this. Yeah, see there's a difference. One of them, one of them jumps and one of them goes up and down. That tree. Bright red in the middle of everything. Wow. That's beautiful. I'm saving that shot. Love it. Let's go. Let's go together. Let's go together. Let's go. Let's go. See, that's not relaxing. <laughs> You're screaming it. Aww. Any people know what ASMR is at this point? Did it all 
Maybe. Also, those are fake plants. On top of the rock, fake plants. Is that fake plants. I love this wall right here with all the little coconut people in it. And there's one over here that has Moana cards in it. I'm gonna go look at it. Look how pretty that is! That is so cool. telling you what I love this area with a hat on the last time I came through here I was trying to rush because I didn't want to get my hair wet this is amazing I'm like you know what let the water happen <laughs> I like it when it comes from up here and splashes back Amazing! If you're at on, if you are at Epcot on a hot day and you have a hat on, or you don't care about your hair. Now you can hear them. Don't be single. Don't do it. Totally, but everybody's looking for you. This always makes me feel like I'm not actually nosy. Especially if you lean your head back. We are heading into the Mexico Pavilion. I don't think I said that, if you haven't caught on. But I believe the fam is wanting to ride three caballeros. The Grand Fiesta Tour. See if they are still game after we get in line. Yes to the line. Thank you guys. Thank you so much. Okie dokie, Smokey. Here we go. All right, it says it's a 20 minute wait. We're going to see. I will say, I have never been here for this ride with the line coming out here. This is a first. San Angel in Restaurante. 
the food there is pretty basic, but it's an enjoyable atmosphere. Chips and dip is pretty good. It's a nice place to get a satisfying meal. It's a better view of the restaurant. That was good. Their chips and salsa, I feel like, was really good. It's been a while since we ate there, but I would definitely eat there again. On the water? Volcano is erupting behind them. I would eat there right now, but I also think I'm really hungry right now. Sit up there. That'd be a good scene. That would be so fun if you could sit up there. Like VIPs. Mm -hmm. Look at all the peasants underneath me. <laughs> Jose and Donald and Panchito <laughs> are the three Cavaleros. <laughs> Concert tonight. Guys, they're having a concert tonight. Rose three and four. What's the time? Not even eight minutes. Not even eight minutes. It said 20 minute wait. Show me. Lies. Oh. Oh. We made it! Oh wow, these seats. Well, oh, they're way back. That's I'm good with this. This is comfy. I feel like I'm in a low rider. <laughs> this is the closest thing that we have to like in Disneyland. They have the pirates that goes through the restaurant. This is comparable. I straight up had like a moment where I thought I saw a gator and then I remembered this is fake water. It's 8.29. Did we say luminous? Is that what we said? Yes. 
the symphony of us. Starts in 30 minutes. <gasps> There's fire. Fire, fire, fire. Good evening, and welcome to World Showcase Lagoon. In just 30 minutes, <gasps> we invite you to experience... I didn't even have to do my own countdown. <laughs> they did a countdown for me. They worked for us. What's wrong with that tour? To lower light levels during the show. I think it's going around. It's just not made it around here yet. There. That's so cool. I like this show already. Thank you. I was so confused. Because tonight's performance of Luminous, the Symphony of Us, begins in just 30 minutes. Were you confused when he said no standing or sitting? You're like, what am I supposed to do? Please refrain from sitting or standing. I was like, wait, what? Laying down is permitted. Do we float? Are we now floating? This is pretty. It's good. That's good. It's pretty. This music isn't copyrighted. <laughs> <laughs> it is time. the herd. Yeah, you're not supposed to follow the herd, Perry. You follow the herd. But it's so pretty right here. You have to follow the pretty light. I thought ours, where we picked a spot, spot on. <gasps> and now we're getting Magic Kingdom fireworks. You see them? I do. I might have forgotten to hold on. Hold on for one more day. I mean, I think that's uh, so, 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 so
I think my favorite part of today was the journey of water. And we're wrapping up another amazing day. This one's ready for snuggles. And we're ready to call it a night. Oh, I'm ready for snuggles. Well. But I gotta take a shower first. Yeah. Because you don't want to snuggle a hot, sweaty, Epcot body. No, hot and sweaty day, but it was amazing. It was a beautiful day. I loved every second of it. And I enjoyed living every second of it with you. Oh. And bellas, and bellas. And so in the meantime. Go dork yourself. Go dork yourself. Yippee.